So we are perfect as we are. Let it settle for a moment. When I first heard that I'm perfect as I am, when I came to the first, my first Balance View meeting in India, I was like, nah. I refused to believe that I'm perfect as I am. I refused. I refused and resisted. And I got really angry. And, but at the same time, I kept coming back because something, something was interesting. You are perfect as you are. Like, what the hell are you talking about? You know? Listen to my mind. Listen to my thoughts and emotions. And I'm sure you'll change the entire perspective of your training. That was my kind of attitude. You know, I come from Israel. I'm, you know, I'm negative most of the time. I have ups and downs. I'm uncertain. It's hard for me to take decisions. I have lots of nightmares. What, 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 okay, okay, let's talk about it. But uh, rather than opening a discussion and like, you know, thinking and checking if I'm kind of, I belong to this exalted definition of human beings as exactly perfect as they are, I was invited to get to know it in my own direct experience, which was very cool. It wasn't, it wasn't about, okay, believe or try to. It was tested in your own experience. Okay, challenge. I like challenges. You know? So, one of the first things that we really want to get to know, you know, the first thing we want to get to know before knowing our name, who is our mother, who is our father, is the nature of our mind. What is the nature of our mind? And I know that many of you probably, as I did, read many books and went to many workshops or saw YouTube videos or whatever about the nature of mind. So there's lots of information available, right? Lots of information, lots of books, lots of teachings, lots of things. So it's good to have proper information, accurate information that takes us directly and shows us what is the nature of our mind. In balanced view, the basis or the nature of our mind we call open intelligence or opening intelligence. If you stop thinking for a moment, what remains? A sense of openness, alertness, power remains. This is open intelligence. This is the nature of our mind. So to not be confused anymore, we simply stop thinking for a moment and we see what remains. We didn't disappear when we stopped thinking, you know, nothing grandiose happened. Simply we stop thinking and that's, that's how we introduce ourselves to the nature of our mind. To be assured in the nature of our mind, we need a simple practice and a support system. That, that's what I need and that's what worked for me and for thousands of people around the world who are taking part in this movement of balanced view. So once we stop thinking, of course, all the thoughts come back, you know. Did I stop thinking? Was it for real? It wasn't special. It was amazing. I know it already. All the thoughts co come, come back and, and that's just fine. That's, you know, that's the dynamic energy of our mind. So rather than trying to hold on to a moment of open intelligence, we simply take a short moment of opening intelligence. A short moment of instinctively recognizing, again, open intelligence. And by repeating it again and again, we get used to it. And open intelligence becomes obvious. Why? Just because. <laughs> this is the way things actually are. So. When we, when we meet reality face to face, then it's real and it's potent. Short moments are so simple, you know, before, before meeting Balanced View and having my own ideas about the nature of mind, I tried really hard to be in a long, 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 endless, timeless moment of something. Give it the best title you want, you know. I tried really hard and I remember it's like punishing myself. I dragged myself to the room and I put myself and I said, okay, you little flawed creature, if you don't get in this half an hour, one hour, 10 days, the nature of our mind, then again, you're so flawed. So every time, even if I reach somewhere in terms of a special state, 
there was a fallback. There was a falling down from this exalted state. What a torture, like sitting on this chair. Even worse, you know, you are always all day long walking and you need to assess yourself and give yourself, okay, yeah, I'm doing great because I, I love people today. I'm doing great. No, I, oh, I'm doing bad because I have jealousy and desire. Ooh, oh, oh, you know, constantly wanting to rearrange our thoughts and emotions to a perfect picture. And who decided what is the perfect picture? Psychology, religion, um, your parents? Or is it up to you? Is it up to us, to each one of us, to elect, to choose which lifestyle we want to live? A lifestyle that is endless effort, struggle, with no results, you know, in terms of constant life satisfaction and flourishing, or a lifestyle of complete ease and gradual adjustment to reality, aligning with reality for the benefit of all. For me, it's quite clear which option sounds better. Yeah? And the four mainstays, the support structure of Balanced View, really offers this support. Support. We don't have to do it by ourselves. And this is also something I didn't like about the training, because I was quite... You know, I was 25, and I traveled in India for so many years, and, you know, I know it already, so don't talk with me about helping me. If you want, I can help you. <laughs> I can offer my gems of wisdom to you while you are listening to me. So, so that was one of my first hiccups, you know, like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, adjustment. <laughs> okay, I actually need support. <laughs> can you help me? Yeah, sure. So the Balanced View offers 24-7 support, 24-7 support. It means that we are never alone, never isolated in our thoughts and emotions if we choose not to be isolated. You see, it's, so again, it's up to us. We can be attracted to the message we are listening, to the people, to the great openness and welcoming, but it's then up to us to wait, uh, to choose for that, rather than wait, you know, like... I remember going to places in India and I saw someone great. At least they appeared great, you know. They were a human being, they were great. And I was looking at them, oh, wow. Never, it will never happen to me, right? I was just like so hopeless. And, but I tried hard and finding the balance view really gave me the answer and purpose for my life. So... Life satisfaction and flourishing, it's just the beginning point where we see, okay, regardless of what I'm thinking right now, I can take a short moment of complete stability and openness to allow my data stream, which is thought, emotion, sensation, or, another, or other experience, to allow it to flow and by, like a flat p flight path of a bird in the sky. It leaves no trace. Even if you think it leaves a trace, it doesn't or a design drawn in space. All of our thoughts and emotions are exactly the same. Data, they leave no trace. So when I, I kind of tested it in my own experience, so for example with deep sadness or depression, I think some of you can relate, or anger for example, I was like, wow, it leaves no trace. <laughs> I really checked it in my own experience. I thought, it, it really leaves no trace. I don't need to go there, analyze it, try to get rid of it, kick it away of ex out of existence. It really is no problem. It's just the dynamic energy of pure benefit. All, all happening in a great expanse of equalness and evenness. So, kind of, you can say, with the adjustment to reality, my life suddenly changed from wanting to have only positive data streams, you know, the correct ones, which again, who decided? You, you should decide which ones are the correct ones. Or to decide that all are great, all are the potent benefit of open intelligence. So rather than like being really busy with that from morning till night and also during the night, and especially when waking up, I mean, that's the most intense time, for me at least, you know, where everything is just like all the data streams are there and I'm, I need to, my responsibility to arrange them in order to have a good day. Oh goodness. So if we don't need to do it, there's a lot of time during the day. <laughs> 
there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of, you know, we get to know our basic human goodness, which is innate to us, so we don't need to pretend and be a good human being, you know. I'm resting as open intelligence, and it looks like this, and this is of benefit for all, you know. I'm, I'm so virtuous and, uh, like, saint-like. No, it's everyday life, you know, when you, when you do the really mundane things, like baking cakes or stapling papers and brushing your teeth, that's where we discover open intelligence and everything else, making love. giving a speech, cooking, everything, everyday life. That's where we want to find open intelligence. And it's there for us if we choose to recognize it or not. Moment to moment, open intelligence is the most important choice. So I'm not so focused anymore on which thoughts I have right now or my sensations in the body. I don't ignore them. I don't replace them or avoid them. I just allow them to be as they are like I would allow the brilliant sun to be exactly as it is or to allow pure space to be exactly as it is. It's not a big deal and it really, really doesn't require any effort. However, changing our thoughts and emotions and assuming or trying to get rid of them requires lots of effort. Try now to change your thought to something else. I see everyone. <laughs> It's a life of complete confidence, you know. We get to know ourselves and we have amazing support in the four mainstays of the practice. We talked a bit about the practice of short moments repeated many times. And then we have a training, which is media online, face-to-face -face training, on, on, uh, online uh, trainings where we connect to others and we read together a text and watch a video that talks only about this, you know, how amazing we are, how amazing and capable and totally good, you know, totally aligned with total benefit, total, 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 perfection, perfect, yeah? Always perfect, always, always perfect. So, and also we have a trainer who is there to support us and guide us along the way in a very customized and personali personalized way. Sometimes they will push the right buttons for us in order to align with greater benefit. And that's just an amazing relationship to have. And we have a community. Community of people who are deciding to stand up and say, you know what? I lived for 25 years in a certain way. It was an interesting lifestyle, but now I'm choosing something else. Making a stand and claiming this most natural, most basic, basic, basic human right. You know, you might shout about different human rights, but wait, if you don't know the nature of your mind, stop for a moment and take responsibility and know that this is the only way to be effective and of true and, and potent benefit. So the four mainstays are always there to support us in this way. Like here in Stockholm, so good, you know. Um, we came from Skåne and we, we received such a warm welcome. We met all these shining people. And together we, we create this amazing event that inspires people to know the nature of their mind. And I travel around the world, you know. I, I said I'm from Israel, I travel to Australia. Everywhere is the same. People are no longer, they can't take it anymore. Life of reification, life that is based on fixing and categorizing the positive, the neutral, the negative, all of that is gone. And this is the most important decision we can ever make. So don't think so much about decision making. Decide whether you want to live a life of a victim or a life of a complete, uh, of a life of exaltation. So this is the most important decision to make. And from there, we'll have all the know-how along the way and the proper support to make the most important decisions. You know, where to go, where to, what to eat. You know, this is one of my most important choices of the day. Uh, what to do with my money, to get married, to have children, to this, to that. All of that is, is revealed one moment at a time. 
So no need to, need to think and stop like, oh, where should I take decisions from? You take it from open intelligence. And obviously, you know, in the beginning, um, we see, I mean, one of the most, one of the most, um, or can be one of the most challenging things is when you immerse yourself in the community of balanced view, you immerse yourself in a community of people who are so powerful and so potent and so inspiring that jealousy might arise and you, you, you might start to compare yourself to others. Well, they shine more than me and they are of more benefit than I am. Ooh, look at them. Oh, I'm still focused on my data streams, you know? So there's lots of things along the way that we'll, we'll see and that's very powerful. We are inspired to be the best we can. So, you know what's the best solution there? Wait, I'll check it. Short moments of open intelligence. Repeated many times. Until it becomes continuous and you don't mind being jealous. <laughs> and you don't mind being angry. There's freedom in immediacy of perception regardless of the description. Check it. Check it right now. There's freedom. Freedom. Woohoo! Freedom, you know? The freedom we are all looking for. The exaltation we are all looking for. The peace we are all looking for. The cooperation we are all lo looking for. It's innate. It's already built in. So you don't try and look it for it somewhere else. It's already there in the current perception. Inseparable. The power is inseparable like the color blue in the sky. If I sit and tell you all the thoughts I have right now, you, you'll be probably kind of backing, <laughs> reversing out of the door and like, whew, okay, I don't want to be in the same room, <laughs> you know? But um, it doesn't matter. We take it back to the essence, open intelligence, and that's how benefit for all opens up. And you know, in the beginning, it might be like, whoa, open intelligence. You are like all over the place. That's definitely was for me and still a bit. <laughs> but after six years, because it's the most amazing thing. So come on, you know. It's better than uh, the best musical or it's better than a really, really good meal. It's like everything I ever wanted. The be better than the best sex. Ooh. So, or from everyone liking me, it's even better than that or from being successful or having lots of money. You see, the priority of life really starts to change. So it might be time, and also I experienced like a few years into the training where the excitement wasn't there so much. It wasn't present in the form of lots of, you know, excited data. So I was like, dear trainer, I love the training, but I'm not excited anymore. And even I feel sometimes boredom. And you know what was the response? Okay, it's totally fine. You're perfect as you are. Let it be as it is. Wait, are you sure it's not more complicated than that? You know, I don't need to go to someone to talk about it a bit more or tell all of my friends and family that I experienced this deep, strong uh, emotion. Uh, no, you can really allow it to be as it is and see how it resolves like a line drawn in space. And then you are there, totally available regardless, you know. I don't need to do things only if I like them. I do things because I know that they are of most benefit to all, whether I'm bored in terms of my descriptions or excited that I can run all over the place and shout with glee. All of that is included. So, you see, it really, it really changes the way we relate to ourselves and others. I mean, I'm very excited today, but I don't know if it's because of the open meeting or I drank a really potent, strong green tea. So, where is my fault? Wait, it was the green tea or, you know, like, who cares? Who cares? I want to connect. You know, you, you made the effort to come here, so we want to connect to you and share our own direct experience and inspire hopefully, in some way, to know that you are perfect as you are. Let it settle for a moment. You are perfect as you are, exactly as you are. Nothing about you needs to change.
So th this, is how we, this is how we get to know ourselves. This is how we get to know the nature of our mind.